All right, after a nice discussion with the very friendly docents, I figured out it's not that photography or video is disallowed. It's that they don't want selfie sticks. Uh, I imagine when it gets kind of crowded, people get smacked in the face with them. Um, I totally understand. Uh, the gimbal has a selfie stick in it, uh, which can be lowered, but they're basically just like, don't use the gimbal. So, part two here might be a little shakier, but we'll see. This is the first floor of the big rail railway stock room. Railway stock, there we go. Fun fact, um, when Andy was a very little kid, like kindergarten, first grade, uh, he could not roll his R's. So it would not have been railroad, it would have been whale-woed. Uh, difficulty pronouncing R's is something I have shared with some of my uh, Japanese friends I've talked to about learning English, the whole R thing. Sometimes it's difficult. Tangent aside, look at these beautiful trains. Don't crawl under the train. Third class carriage. I'd be pretty comfortable. Socioeconomically, I'd be pretty comfortable in third class. not a train. How dare it be here. This little carriage looks about the size of the, the miniature train I drove earlier. To state the utterly obvious, the railway museum is itself laid out like a big train station. Similar to ones you may have visited. And I imagine that the way they got all this rolling stock in here was just through rolling them down the standard lines, which is probably a pretty fun instance for rail fans bringing them into this place. I bet, I bet the grand opening here was really something to see.
always true. Little tiny driver's area. You can barely see it through the smoked glass. A lot of museums offer something like an, an annual membership, uh, allowing you to go a lot more often and etc. I could see this being one of the few that could tempt me to, to do that. Because what a relaxing place to just be. Just find your favorite car. Turn on the Wi-Fi, settle in for a little while. Okay, I'll admit that that video going by did make me like go into train leg uh, positioning. Because when you ride the trains around here a lot, you you just get to used to those lurches. This big turnaround is something to behold. The cool container. Wow, train ferry. The water displacement and how ships work. It's one of those things I understand, yet I'm still consistently blown away that it works. thought of putting that many train cars onto any kind of boat. A week or so ago, I was excited because I was waiting for a train and I saw a freight train go by which 
is not unusual at all where I live. Um, but here I actually very rarely see freight trains because they don't share the lines. They don't share the lines with the commuter and passenger trains. There's not that competition. The fact that so many of the United States rail lines are owned by freight companies who get right of way is a big obstacle to having superior passenger service. You just can't run as many trains and, and on time when you have when you're your second tier and you have to pull over for every single freight train. Which of course is not a dig against rail freight. It just means once again, the United States did not invest in the infrastructure that they needed. It's rough going back to a place where car is king. Oh, I love the livery here. For those that aren't aware of that word, livery refers to the colors, the paint on the outside of a vehicle, like this one. I always love green and white. Go underneath. There's a rare view. Incredible. <laughs> Motor man. interior is very familiar to me from other trains I've ridden. It's a tour group. Kari Kodama. I have ridden on their modern and 
interpretations. Generally, I'm taking the Hikari. That's the fastest train you can take with the JR Pass without paying a, a special fee now. You could, you could chill out to be on the Nozomi and such, but I don't think the time saved is worth the price. Of course, uh, my corporation isn't paying for it, so if it was, Obviously, riding a steam locomotive is one of my train goals here. But that is one of the things where the coming here in the off season actually is a detriment. A lot of the SLs aren't running in the winter, or they're on very limited schedules. That actually looks really comfortable. Three decks. I would sleep just fine. There are a few sleeper trains still operating here in Japan, but for the most part, that the need for those has been squeezed out by on the top end, you have the Shinkansen who will get you places so fast that you don't really need an overnight. Um, and on the less expensive end, you've got like night buses where you could sleep on that, pay a lot less, go a lot slower. But the, the bus will never have the romance of the train. There are, of course, some very uh, fancy and expensive limited express trains that are hotels on rails. Those have overnight. And they are running uh, slow enough on purpose to make the experience. There's a steam locomotive simulator over there. It might be another thing you raffle for. But driving the little mini train was kind of my, was my first pick. literal cutaway of a steam engine.
some cool Panasonic projectors doing some fun things with silhouettes. And I know there are so many levels. Look at the camera. Ah, this is the former Toki. I actually took this uh, last night coming down from Kusatsu Onsen. <laughs> the rare actual bench. I guess they like to keep the Shinkansen's warm because the hall where they're keeping it is broiling. information displays built in now. I'd love some, thank you. Sorry, Tokyo Auto Salon, but this is this is more fun. It helps that uh, half the country isn't in this building, like at that event.
an outside portion just in time. Another lunch train. Eating is okay in the lunch trains. So bring your own lunch, friends. Keeping it temperature controlled in here. I do like getting an Ikiben and having lunch on Shinkansen whenever I can. I'm always after those self-heating lunch ones. Pull a little cord. Coming out, we're gonna have the Shinkansen based hall. But a little fresh air before I go in there. playground I love these job station. One of the things, one of the experiences you can raffle for is the station office experience. You can find out what it's like to work the system. Wash your hands. Wash your dog.
grand class. Yes, I will never touch grand class. A little rich for my blood. Honestly, though, green class isn't even necessary. Basic seats on all the Shinkansen's are so comfortable. This is another one of the simulators. Maybe after I finish filming, I'll look and see what's still available on the raffle. Success, get that. Wow. For those busy times. Once again, I apologize for the shake. I'm no gimbal, just a guy. Oh, a green class car. For Tokyo. Yep, keep out.
Upstairs. Future station. Uh, more simulators. a quiz game using what looked like Nintendo <laughs> Mies. Something going on with the light inside there that it's creating a lot of flickering on the video. Today was just a big gray day over Tokyo. About 41 degrees Fahrenheit. A perfect day to be indoors at the Railway Museum. Like a bunch of more mini simulators. I had read it that on uh, very busy days, it's very difficult to do any of the interactive exhibits. It's going to be a number of people here. So we get here early. They have a good conductor's hat for sale in the gift shop. I might I might find myself weak to it.
in the shuttle train I took to get to the museum in the driver's booth there was a little spot within the control panel for the driver to put their own stopwatch classic round stopwatch They do have a setup with apps for, I think, audio guidance with English for uh, the exhibits. So if you want to dive deeper into the history of things and you don't read or speak Japanese, they have you covered. Beautiful layout to this place. The future is computers.
train passing right there look uh, suspiciously like the uh, Kusatsu Shima, which I took up to the onsen. Train terrace? Don't mind if I do. I will likely be coming back here for a little something to eat. What a cool place.
All right. Now we're back in the big rolling stock exhibition area. Up on the top floor. Coming full circle. Well, I mean, not quite. A few more people have arrived. I know they have a miniature train diorama here somewhere. Hang on. Just in time. That noise definitely got my attention. so cool that this is an exhibit, but it also was practical in getting each of these trains into position. Okay, that's, that's actually full circle. Well, I guess a uh, content warning should you come to the railway museum. Loud train whistle sound.
Spatia X or Spacia X. I've ridden the other Spacia, but the X um, eludes me so far. I should be able to get a ticket, but um, the exclusive compartment tickets, you have to be uh, well in advance. Here we are. No, just no flash. プログラム中は演出上照明が暗くなる場面がございます。お座席に座った状態での見学はお願いいたします。またジオラマ室撮影可能です。フラッシュなど明かりが出る機能は切った状態でお楽しみください。それでは短い時間ですが、どうぞごゆっくりお楽しみください。毎日朝早くから夜遅くまで全国各地を走り続ける鉄道。皆さんはそんな鉄道がどうやって安全に運行されているのか考えたことはありますか？ 右手の通勤路線では、たくさんの電車が走り始めました。緑色の山手線とスカイブルー通りの京浜東北線です。こんなにたくさんの電車が一斉に走っているのに、なぜぶつからずに走ることができるんでしょう。それはデジタル速度計にどのくらいの速度で運転してよいかを表示し、その速度を超えて運転してしまうと自動的に列車にブレーキがかかるという仕組みです。続いて中央の駅を右手に飯国系早草と飯六系小町が出発です。その速度は最高で時速320キロ東北上越北陸新幹線では山手線や京浜東北線と同じようなデジタル ATC を使っています。こうして新幹線の安全な運行と皆さんの快適な旅を支えています。では皆さん奥のスクリーンに注目してください。綾武里小町は一度この奥の駅に停車するようです。さあ切り離されました。ここからそれぞれ別々の目的地を目指していきますまず綾草は青函トンネルをくぐり抜け北海道の新函館北斗に向かいます一方の小町は在来線を通り秋田を目指し走っていきます在来線区間では ATS ピートという信号システムで列車の安全を守っています こうして通勤電車や新幹線は日々安全運転を行っているのですおや大変です右手の通勤路線に注目してください山手線京浜東北線の列車が一斉に止まりましたどうやら中央駅のホームから 
荷物を落としてしまったお客様がいるようです周りの人が列車非常停止ボタンを押してくれたので山手線京浜東北線の列車は現在運転を見合わせています列車の運行を止めることをよくしと言い駅のホームでは停車中の列車の乗務員にこのように表示を出して知らせます運行再開です現在山手線や京浜東北線ではこうした事故を防止するために全駅に可動式ホーム柵の設置を進めています。では続いては中央の駅の左手川沿いの線路に注目していきましょう。六百八十一系角田川が出発です。日本国内の在来線で初めて時速160キロで走行した車両です芥川号は北北線内の一部の区間で時速160キロの運転を行っていましたがその時安全な運行を守るためいくつかの仕組みとルールを取り入れましたまず一つが信号機の高速進行という表示です通常の信号機では青信号の表示は1つだけですがこちらは青が2つ点灯しますそしてもう1つがホームへのお客様の立ち入り制限ですアフタラゴが駅を通過するときはスピードが速くホームに人がいるとどんな事故につながってしまうか分かりませんですのでまずホームに人が入れないようにすることでホームサルがなくても安全なご案内が可能となったのです現在マクタナゴンは北陸新幹線へと生まれ変わりさらに速いスピードで関東と北陸を安全に結んでいます<音声>さあその北陸新幹線 B7 系マクタナゴンが出発していきます新幹線が通る駅のホームにはもちろんホーム柵が設置されていますでは続いては皆様から見て左手の大きな車両基地に注目していきましょう車両基地を右に向かって京急2100型が出発ですこの京浜急行にも少し変わった信号表示があります。四足という表示です。ではスクリーンをご覧ください。このように青と黄色の信号がチカチカと点滅を繰り返すことで表されます。これにより電車が進行を表す青信号だけよりも低い速度で走ることになります。京浜急行ではこの表示を増やすことで、安全を確保しているんですでは改めて中央の大きな駅に注目していきましょう中央の駅の一番手前に停車しているのは赤い電気機関車 EH500 金太郎という愛称で親しまれている力持ちで今日もたくさんの荷物を運んでいますこれからこの中央の駅を左手へと出発していきますよ。おや、大変です。金太郎が走っていく線路の先、踏切が見えますか？その踏切にトラックが立ち往生しています。このままだとぶつかってしまいます。
を見ていきましょうトラックも無事に踏み切りから脱出できたようです安全を確認し金太郎も再び走り始めましたこのようにして踏み切りも鉄道にまつわる人と物の安全を守っているんです日暮れから夜を迎えました最終列車は次々と運行を終えていきますが真夜中でも鉄道の安全にまつわる仕事が終わることはありませんシンヤ列車の運行が終了した線路上では線路のメンテナンス保全作業が行われます路線だけではなく大きな工事もこの時間に行っていますこういった作業をするときは線路閉鎖といって作業中の時間に列車が進入しないよう信号機を必ず赤にしますそれで作業員の安全が守っています信号保安システムや防護柵、列車非常停止ボタンといった技術だけではなく鉄道に関わる人々の安全な運行への徹底した意識これも鉄道の事故防止には欠かせませんそのように鉄道に関わるたくさんの人の思いから私たちは安全に目的地に向かうことができるのです今もどこかでお客様を乗せて活躍している列車たち皆さんも鉄道を利用する際はこのプログラムを思い出し安全の仕組みを実感してみてくださいね以上をもちましてただいまのプログラムは終了ですご見学ありがとうございましたありがとうございました。次回の解説プログラムはこの後すぐ35分頃から、ただいまと同じ内容のものを実施いたします。ありがとうございました。それまでは模型を近くで計算することができますが、模型の方には手やカメラを入れないようにご協力をお願いいたします。模型には触らないでくださいね。
Ani gato. Well, that was wonderful. I might have to edit that into its own model train ASMR. The most relaxing thing ever. Stained glass. Over here they have these little alcoves where you can just relax and watch trains go by. more floors. Well, as always, we'll see how much I can record before uh, I run out of space. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Even if I should get suddenly cut off. <laughs> This is easy. This is a no photography area. So I'm gonna go with no video as well. Shinkansen Lounge? You know I'm interested in that. enough that I'm climbing some stairs. go. There's one going by right now. These tables. I've been in these trains that go whizzing by several times. And here's a cool guide where you can match the liveries to the trains. Very cool. And now of my, I believe my two favorite museums so far, the Railway Museum, incredible, um, and the Woodblock Print Museum in Sumida, much, much, much smaller scale, very different exhibition, but beautifully laid out.
and designed. Different ends of a spectrum, but both wonderful. Go to this place. Andy recommends. Bring a lunch to have in one of the little lunch lunch carriages or go to the restaurant. Make a day of it. It's a day well spent. Constant going by, freight train going by. Perfect. I think we're ascending to the pinnacle of the museum, which means we're coming to an end of this video. Wonderful. Well, that's been the Railway Museum at Omaya Station. I thank you for joining me. Shock the Monkey thanks you for joining us. I'll see you next time. But who knows? We will catch one train going by before. It's all said and done. two more, or three more.